muslimcentral.com forward slash donate. It is the duty of every Muslim to convey the message of Islam to those who are not aware of it. It's compulsory for every Muslim to do dawah. Dawah means an invitation, a call to the non-Muslims. It is the duty of every Muslim that he invites non-Muslims toward Islam. There are various different methodologies as well as strategies used by Muslims as far as dawah is concerned. The most common strategy is whenever a Muslim meets a non-Muslim, he speaks hundred good things about Islam. Even if that non-Muslim agrees with all the hundred good things that the person has spoken about Islam, yet that non-Muslim will have few negative points behind the mind. He may say, yes, I agree about all these hundred good things about Islam, but you are the same Muslim who is a terrorist. Ah, you are the same Muslim who is a fundamentalist. Ah, you are the same people who spread religion with the sword. You are the people who subjugated the women. Ah, you are the Muslims who marry more than one woman. These few negative points at the back of his mind will prevent him from accepting the beauty of Islam. That's the reason. Whenever I meet any non-Muslim, I ask him up front, what do you feel is wrong with Islam? With your limited knowledge, whether right or wrong, what do you feel is wrong with Islam? And I make him comfortable that he can criticize Islam. If he wants, he can attack Islam. I make him comfortable and I ask him, what does he feel is wrong with the religion of Islam? And after he's made comfortable, he poses about three or four questions about Islam. And in the past couple of decades that I've been in the field of Dawah, I have realized that there are about 20 most common questions which the non-Muslims have regarding Islam. When the non-Muslim poses three or four questions about Islam, invariably these three or four questions fall amongst the 20 most common questions. If all the Muslims know the reply to these 20 common questions posed by the non-Muslims with reason, logic and science, with the quotation from Quran and Sahih Hadith and the quotation of the scripture of the non-Muslim, even if he cannot make the non-Muslim accept Islam, at least he can neutralize the animosity that is there in the minds of the non-Muslims. At least he can neutralize the negative feeling that the person has regarding Islam. That's the reason it's very important that we Muslims are aware about these 20 common questions.